Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridge Tech with another flashlight review, this time from Emilent. Now this here is their latest model. Now when this video is released, of course, this will already be available, but I received this sample from them directly quite a bit early before its release, SR32. 120,000 lumens, so this is now the world's brightest light to take over their previous model. Comes in this box. So let's wait no further. Let's open it up, see what's in. what it looks like on the inside very nice padded inside now because I got this so early before the release I don't have a manual they're still working on that but I did get a PDF nice packaging here here's the printout that I did for just me to look through but there's the specs. See there, 120,000 lumens on the highest output. Now, if you need more time to read those, go ahead and pause screen. Otherwise, we'll move along. And let's see what's in here. Two O-rings. And another set of O-rings, pretty small. Two Allen tools here, probably for the handle. There's the other O-ring, two screws. One belt clip here pretty nice now I'm familiar with these for this big of light these do come in really handy one nice lanyard here been uh, woven up pretty nicely quick release on there USB type C to type C and you'll see why here they included this 100 watt charging system here my understanding is the 100 watts is only available through the type C the other one's a little bit lower Got some weight to it. Nice. Just want to make sure there's nothing else down in here. All right. Let's go ahead and get the light out of here. It's always a pleasure to get these well in advance. I've done many, you know, early releases and brand new models through the years for Emilent. So it's always nice to get them ahead of time. Yeah. Pretty heavy light, large size. Talk about beefy. Now I noticed they went with the flat black here. So that's nice. Don't have to worry about uh, blemishes too much a lot of heat sinking here on the head here now this is a fan cooled 
flashlight. So that should help. Handles really nice and grippy. Let's go ahead and take a look here. It's the only spot where it says the SR32. Now with this, you can unscrew this to get to the charging port. That is a type C. Bring it up a little closer. So they went with a little bit different route on this one. Now, in my opinion, I think the type C is so universal that I think it was probably a good idea to go with that rather than the proprietary wall charger. You want to screw that down snug because it actually pushes down on that port cover. Now this being a heavy light, this is definitely a beautiful sight there. Look at that. Go ahead and take this off here. Now this is the SR32 because there are 32 Cree LEDs in there. Try to show you all the way around. The handle is removable. Now sometimes if you're using it on the higher outputs, this handle does make it a lot easier to carry because it will get warm. So that's a plus. Now the style on this one is very nice. Get real up close to the fans here. One there, and one there. Power switch here, as well as there. Now the machining and finish on this is very nice. No issues. Let's go back to the LEDs here. Now there are 32 Cree XHP 50.3 LEDs, no domes, hope you can see that. Smooth reflectors helps with the uh, range. Alright, well let's go ahead and uh, take this apart. And I'll show you the battery pack. Kind of balance the light here so I can lift it up out of here. And that's the battery pack contact plate there. A lot of grease on those threads. There's the contact plate there on the head. There is a protection piece down in here that you want to remove. And I keep these, believe it or not, that way when I store the light, All right, so now let's go ahead and uh, get this put back on. And we've got a little confirmation blink there. OLED display has been brought back on this light. So it's nice to see them bring that back. 
kind of gone for a while. Now let's go ahead and uh, that's the display there. Hopefully you can see that. See there. And when you want to press down and hold, it'll go to the next level. I'm just going to go through them here for you. You can hear the fans come on. And uh, it's warning you that uh, the light will get hot. I'll go through those again for you. So, it starts telling you that the light will start getting warm. Now, it did cycle it down a little bit. So now let's go through the light outputs here. And we'll do this right here. You can see here it has a nice centralized hotspot here. Just tapers off quite a bit from the sides. Now because of this style of LED, the range has been increased. So you can see there it's going to help with the throwing abilities on this light. Again, we'll go through those light outputs one more time. Now, the 30 lumens is a lot of light coming out of here. Um, it definitely appears to be more, but uh, just so used to using smaller flashlights that uh, this does really well. So on any light level, you can double click to get the highest output. Oh. We'll turn it back down, let my camera adjust again, double click, double click again, we'll get you strobe. And that is a constant rate on the flash and it is very distracting. Double click again, we'll go back to the highest output. Press one time to turn it off. It was burning my hand, so I had to keep it away. And uh, that is incredible. So I'm going to go ahead and show you here that it says, when did you do strobe? Double click, shows you that 120,000. Double click again, see there. Click it one time, turns it off. This does have memory mode. So if we turn it off on the 1500 lumens, Turn it off, turn it back on. It will memorize that light output. Go through those light outputs one more time. Now I did charge this battery fully. So that's what all those look like. <laughs> Beautiful. Almost looks like the flower of life. And that's all there is to this light. UI is pretty straightforward. Uh, the fans are going to help quite a bit. Now I noticed on the 50,000 lumens it was stepping down pretty quickly. So we're going to check that out there in the night shots. See how it does. It is really cold tonight. Been having some major storms uh, hit our area. So my posting schedule has been really sporadic, and I apologize for that, but uh, more to come, promise. Yeah, this thing is very rugged, solid build quality, what you expect from Immolent. Super excited to get this, so let's wait no further. Let's take this SR32 out, see how it does in the wilderness. We are out here in the darkness. Have a storm moving in. So I want to get this little soon to be released 
SR32 out. Let's go ahead and see how it does. Water spout there, 38 feet. It's the lowest light output here. There it is on the fence. Kind of get an idea. 65 feet there to that tree. It's cold out tonight too. Let's go to the next level here. See how it does. Comes alive easily as you can see. Easily making it across the park. Got some nice throwing range on this. Kind of played around with it a little bit before I started recording. 238 feet there, 138 feet here to the famous Tree of Life. Usually lighting up a large area at once. I hold it down here. Get my finger on a little bit better on the trigger here. Let's go to the next level over here. See how it does. Good little jump. Not huge. Really nice, super wide beam. Yeah, this is doing really well. Try to get my fingers on the other power switch. Might be a little bit easier for me to do. Making that first palm tree there, and faintly making the second. Let's go to the next level here. Nice even spacing on the UI. Really helps out. Now it being cold out here might help with the performance of it. <laughs> this thing is just crazy bright. Let's go to the next level here, see how it does. Making those palm trees even better now. <laughs> Great. It is insane. Wind is blowing out here, blowing dust everywhere. Usually making those trees out there. I do a, a video on my testing area out here. Should you doubt any distances or have any questions? even on turbo yet. <laughs> Just crazy bright. All the way down here, almost to my feet. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and uh, do turbo. Yeah, let's do it over here on the school. See how it does. Whoa. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Look at that way out there. Wow. 
It's lit up really fine out here. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Emily knows what time it is. All right. Incredible. Okay, welcome back. Definitely recommend keeping the box, store all your stuff in. I'm going to use it temporarily until I get a hard case for this. But this thing is the Annihilator, whatever you want to call it. Huge amount of light comes out of this. It is now king of the Lumen Wars at this time, always advancing in light output technology. The only thing I think that lacks is the battery power and the battery technology is just not keeping up. Now hopefully with everything over worldwide as far as the pandemic was concerned might have slowed down a lot of the technology but hopefully now we'll start seeing it build up again and uh, Emma coming out with this. This has been in the workings for quite a while. It's nice to see that they came out with the handle on this versus the previous 100,000 Lumen King. This one here is just an amazing light. Fans do okay. Um, nothing spectacular. Um, I don't think they really, at that high of Lumen output, really increased the run times by much. So, using on up the lower light outputs, under 50,000 Lumens, this thing is just an incredible light, has very nice run times. Again, the UI is super easy. The OLED display is very nice to see what light level you're on. It's always a plus. The USB Type-C rapid charging system, including the wall charger there, up to 100 watts, can be used to charge this light or any other device that you might have. Now this will still cycle down due to heat. A lot of lumens come out of this, so that's for protections. And uh, really am impressed with this. Definitely is a nice addition to their flashlight line. All right, well I wanna thank Emilent for sending me this SR32 flashlight kit to review. Now if this is something you are interested in getting, I got a special discount code that will help you save some money on this just in case you're interested. Well that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thanks button. Donate to my channel if you wish. Otherwise, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these brand new models from Emilent to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care. Well, let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness. <laughs>